Hello, Cocktail Connors uh, friends. Uh, today you are with me, Matteo Z, at the court, my bar in Rome. I'm going to make for you the cocktail that represents the hospitality, the most iconic form of hospitality all around the world. Omotenashi, Japanese Omotenashi. What is the most important uh, way to represent the Japanese Omotenashi is the Japanese tea ceremony. So the cocktail will be like an alcoholic uh, Japanese tea. So our first ingredient will be a spoon a chashaku, because this spoon name is chashaku, of matcha. A little bit more, matcha green tea. And uh, we are going to add uh, the main ingredient of, of our drink, this is gin. So 60 ml of gin. Here we go. We are going to dissolve the matcha in the gin using, using this instrument, the chas chasen. Et voilà. Let's go to make our drink. We are going to pass the tea, the gin tea, in our shaker, and we are going to add the rest of the ingredient. So, the second ingredient is an amaro from Trentino Alto Adige, an absinthe amaro. The name is Alta Verde. So, three quarter of ounce. Et voilà. Three quarter of ounce also of honey syrup. We used to make three to one. Et voilà. And 10 ml of yuzu juice. We can call this ta Japanese tangerine. Et voilà. We are going to finish the, our drink. Just muddling four pieces of grapes. Voilà. Voilà. Just to add ice and Let's go to have a very good shaking. Hold on. Et voilà. Et voilà. Our way, our way to introduce this cocktail on our guest is with a tea, a tea cup, Japanese tea cup with an ice bowl. And um, as I told you, so the Japanese tea ceremony is the most important and iconic form of hospitality all around the world because guests and dust are on the same page. It's not only a pleasure to have the hospitality, but also it's a great pleasure to give hospitality to our guest. Et voilà, we are going to finish the cocktail with a lemon origami. Easy. And this is our way to tell you welcome to the core and thank you to join us today. Thank you.